kind of useless shit that doesn't matter. Let's get to symmetry operations. Oh, wait. Um, no, they, they really do matter. Last time we talked about one symmetry operation that seemed incredibly redundant. What symmetry operation was that? E, a 360 rotation. And what did the, the um, transformation matrix look like? Yeah, because we were not changing any of the coordinates, right? So here are the coordinates. This is what they get transformed to. Nothing changed. It seems redundant, but it's important. Okay. Is there, any there is probably some strange form of geometry that, like, or coordinate system that we are not going to discuss in this class that might not follow that. To be honest, though, I really don't know. Okay? It is not important for most chemists and physicists. Most. However, when you do look at particle collisions, I'm not saying that that is true. Because I believe it is not. Okay, let's look at other symmetry operations. Yeah, there we go. So the next operation we're going to talk about is the center of inversion. It's sometimes given the symbol I for the Schoenfly symbols, or the HM symbol is one bar. Uh, this is more characteristic of uh, solid state people. This is more molecular people. And notice I am not divide, making a divide of chemists and physicists because there are many chemists and physicists that utilize this, mainly in spectroscopy, and then there are others that fall in that camp. Okay, so center of inversion. So what is an inversion? Yep, everything on that point completely flips. It changes sign, correct? So same distance. What was that? I didn't hear what you said. Mirror? No. Different than a mirror. We'll get to mirror planes in a minute. So distances don't change, but direction does. Okay. For every point at x, y, z, there is another point at what would the new position be? Yep. Okay, we're going to look at some molecular examples first, and then we're going to look at the transformation matrix after. Okay? Sample carbon dioxide. Anybody have an idea what the Lewis structure looks like? Yeah. Molecular shape. Linear, yeah. Okay, where is the symmetry of inversion? At the carbon, dead center in the carbon. We would mark it with an I or a one bar. There are many other symmetry operations in here, though, right? Let's look at another example. It is a point. It is a dot. It is not a plane. If we have planes, we will say planes. So there are points. This is a point symmetry, not a plane symmetry. Yep. 
We will get to plane symmetries and then combinations of point and plane symmetries. <laughs> you sound super excited for that, Katie. <laughs> okay, hydrogen peroxide. Okay, where is our center of inversion for hydrogen peroxide? Yep, in the center of that single bond between the oxygens. Can you see it? Okay. After we go through all of these symmetry operations, I'm going to give you access to a program called WebMO where you can draw molecules and you can visualize those symmetry operations. Okay. You already have it though. <laughs> yep, you used it in John Chem also. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't need to at the time. That's like everything. Yeah, you didn't need to know that till now. All right, so again, uh, it's given the symbol. What are the symbols? Yep, I or one bar. Okay. As a matrix operation. We have our transformation matrix times our coordinate system. And what should our new coordinates be again? All right, we have to think about a matrix that will work to hit this guy and transform it into that. What are you thinking, Aiden? Do the same thing as the yes, so along the diagonal, negative ones and zeros. Does that work? Yeah, it does. Yes, linear algebra is honestly probably the most, well, all right, calculus is the most important to understand the basics. Linear algebra is the most important if you want to go to graduate school. Yeah. It is, uh, well, yeah. I, I never formally took a linear algebra course. I took a, two semesters of mathematical physics. That's where I learned all my mathematics was from a physicist. Uh, Dr. Justin Conroy at SUNY Fredonia, he was awesome. Did a really, really good job. I hated my math courses though. <laughs> Especially differential equations. And now all I do is do differential equations.